If there's one crop in our garden that's aiming for the title of most monstrous grower, it would have to be zucchinis. A big time producer with even bigger foliage, this guy can eventually become its own worst enemy. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we keep your garden enemy free. And today's episode is all about zucchinis. More accurately, pruning them. How, when, and why. We'll cover it all today, so let's get into it. Although they are monster producers like we said, zucchinis can use our help sometimes to become even better. Pruning them is one of the ways in which we can help and comes with three main benefits. First, removing the extra and unnecessary leaves allows the plants to send more energy to its fruit. Second, zucchini plants take up a large amount of space, both from other crops around it and from itself. Only the leaves growing above the fruit actually give any energy back, so removing those lower ones is key to keeping the plants in check. And finally, fungal outbreaks and diseases such as powdery mildew only seem to arise when there isn't enough airflow and those leaves grow on top of one another and get stuck to each other. Keep the foliage pruned and your zucchini plants will last much, much longer. One bonus benefit of pruning is that it allows pollinators to actually see the flowers. Having too many overlapping leaves is going to block out those giant blooms, resulting in poor pollination. And with zucchinis, pollination is everything. Pruning solves all that, leaving you with healthier, stronger zucchini plants as a result. Great, so how do we do it? Well, pruning is super easy. First, start by locating the lowest current fruit on the plant. Next, with a clean pair of scissors, simply cut down all the leaves below that point, right down to the main stem. Now, when I cut those leaves off, I'm the type of guy that likes to leave a little nub on. I just don't want to damage the main part of the plant. After all those lower leaves are removed, go through the plant and cut off any that are browning or yellowing. This foliage will not come back to greatness, so we might as well get rid of it now. Going forward, keep an eye on the plants and always remember to harvest your zucchini fruit early. Diligently remove any infected or poor performing leaves as you see them and you'll have the best zucchini plants on the block. Oh, and don't forget to check out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.